Electrical safety tips. Electrical safety is most important in workplace because electrical current can cause shocks, fires, explosions, burns, falls which can be fatal or cause serious injuries. Follow these safety tips to avoid serious electrical injuries. All electrical work should be performed by a licensed electrician. Do not make any electricity connection if you are not qualified. Check the damage to the electrical cables before using the equipment. Turn off the switch before plug in or plug off. Unplug electrical equipment by holding the plug top. Do not touch electrical appliances with wet hands. Do not install too many plug on one socket. If the electrical cable is broken, do not approach, report to the authorized person. Every workplace today operates on electricity, so there is a risk of electrical injury to the workplace. All electrical systems used in workplace have the potential to cause serious harm, especially if improperly used. Safety is important when working with electricity. Safety should not be compromised. It can also cause death. Follow these safety tips to avoid electrical hazards. Always wear rubber-soled shoes and safety gloves when working with electricity. Never use equipment with frayed cords, damaged insulation, or broken plugs. Unplug or switch off electrical appliances while cleaning, repairing, or servicing. Ensure that all electrical appliances are turned off at the end of the day. Don't overload the outlets. Use only equipment that is double insulated and properly grounded. Ensure that two extension cords are not plugged together. Switch off or unplug lamp when changing light bulb. Pay attention to the warning signs. Equipment may heat up, spark, smoke, or make weird noise. Identify the signs, so do not use and get it repaired immediately. Electrical shock safety. At workplace, electrical shock kills and injures hundreds of workers each year. Most of these accidents happen because people don't look, don't think or just don't understand the shocking power of electricity. An electric shock is the tingling sensation or muscular contraction that a person experiences when an electrical current passes through the body. At workplace, employees should follow the following points to stay safe while using electrical equipment. Employees should keep electrical equipment away from water and dampness. Employees should disconnect the power source before servicing or repairing electrical equipment. At workplace, employees should check electrical cords before, during, and after each use for fraying and other signs of wear and effects. Never repair electrical equipment. Unless you are qualified and authorized to do so. At workplace, employees should never handle electrical equipment when hands, feet, or body are wet, or when standing on a wet floor. Employees should switch all tools off before connecting them to a power supply. If water or a chemical is spilled onto equipment, shut off power at the main switch and unplug the equipment. Employees should always use appropriate personal protective equipment like rubber gloves, goggles, etc. Extension cord safety. Extension cord, power strip, etc. provide an important method of bringing temporary power to electrical devices that need to be used in area 
not located near a wall outlet. These are very useful devices, but they can present a fire or shock hazard when either worn out or used improperly. At workplace employees should follow the following points to stay safe while using extension cord. Employees should replace cords with cracks, cuts, and damaged insulation. Power cords should never be nailed, stapled, or taped to the desk, wall, ceiling, baseboard, or another object. When unplugging a cord, pull on the plug, not the cord. Buy only cords that has been approved as per engine standards. Don't coil equipment or extension cords while they are in use. Never bend prongs or force a three-pronged cord into a two-pronged outlet. At workplace, employees should make sure the cord is completely plugged into an outlet. Employees should keep cords away from wet or moist environments. Overhead power line safety. Overhead power lines at your site are especially hazardous because they carry extremely high voltage. When machinery, equipment, or other objects come close to or make contact with overhead power lines, it can result in death, electric shock, and significant property damage. At workplace, employees should follow the following points to stay safe. Employees should keep self and equipment 10 feet away from all overhead power lines. At workplace employees should never touch a person who is in contact with a live power line. Conduct initial and daily surveys of the job site and implement control measures and training to address hazards. Employees should never touch an overhead line. If it is down or has fallen. Avoid storing materials underneath or near overhead power lines. Employees should never spray water near overhead power lines. When mechanical equipment is being operated near overhead power lines, employees standing on the ground should not contact the equipment unless it is located so that the required clearance cannot be violated even at the maximum reach of the equipment. Employees should use right personal protective equipment at workplace. Portable electric tools safety. The use of portable electric tools is one of the most common occurrences on a construction project today. Workers are exposed to the use of these tools constantly. A leading cause of death and injury in the workplace is electric shock. Workers need to be aware of their limitations and potential hazards. Employees should follow the following point to stay safe while using portable electric tools. Employees should use only equipment that is in good condition. At workplace employees should never use a tool in the presence of flammable vapors or gases. Employees should make sure tools are stored in a safe place. At workplace, lockout or tagout must be performed by a qualified person. Never repair electrical cords or equipment unless you are qualified and authorized to do so. All portable electric tools that are damaged shall be removed from use and tagged do not use to prevent electrical shock. Employees should never carry power tools in pocket. Employees should read the guidelines related to the portable power tools and use the equipment accordingly. At workplace, employees should wear appropriate personal protective equipment while using portable power tools.